Hey guys, I'm Joyce. <laughs> Welcome to my video diary. Today is Saturday, February 10th. <laughs> I learned to hold the, uh, uh, okay, Saturday, February 10th, 2024. I learned to hold the, the phone in the right direction. Um, and this is Lacey on <laughs> my shoulder going for a ride. Anyway, um, I am learning a lot about myself and my clutter from the three ladies that I mentioned before, Dana K. White, Cass, I don't know her last name, and uh, Dana. Um, and I'll put links to their, <laughs> woo, to their uh, YouTube channels below. Again, um, I was listening to Cass's podcast today, and I don't know if it was a recent episode or, or older. <laughs> cat hair now. And um, she talks about kinds of clutter bugs. It's not just the name of her website, clutterbug.com. She actually has four little bugs that she uses to, um, to describe different organizing styles. And listening to her podcast, I'm like, oh my God, I am totally a cricket. <laughs> Even with clutter. Even with clutter, the clutter has nothing to do with my organizing and sorting style. So, and I'm gonna show you the first thing that she said that, that made me go, oh yeah, I'm totally a cricket. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this is my refrigerator. All right. <laughs> I have my food labeled. There's Millie's tea and leftovers all labeled and dated. Well, except for that one, that one's my neighbor's. <laughs> He's just storing here. Um, even the, okay, even the rabbit that I've got in, in there, all dated and, uh, and labeled. Um, this not so much, but it is organized according to categories. I do like categories. So this is all the pet stuff and supplements. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was the first clue. And then same kind of thing in the pantry. Oh, let me turn the light on. Okay, same kind of thing in the pantry. All right, I need to do some shopping this Monday. So, yep, yeah, all of my seeds. I was in a really, real big rush <laughs> when I bought pumpkin seeds last time right here. So they're not labeled. Um, so yeah, all of my nuts and seeds labeled. Um, my quinoa. Okay, so I've got these turned not right. Okay, yeah. All of the stuff that I take out of the original containers, I label, even dog food. I, I, I just didn't put a date on that. Um, and <laughs> all of the pet food cans, all lined up. Oh, oh sorry, and my phone, and my finger in the camera. Um, yeah, all of my pet food, um, sorted i mean just all of it together and front facing <laughs> these are all things that cass mentioned in the podcast she says that's a cricket um i don't care for them out in the open like this but i'm okay with it um and because i like to hide my stuff that also makes me a cricket otherwise i would be oh my goodness what was detailed i don't remember i would be a different kind of clutter bug, <laughs> different kind of bug if um, if I liked all of my stuff out in the open. Um, and I do not. I prefer to have it nice and clear. Um, so what was I going to show you next? I, you know what? I'm just going to show you my clutter. This is something that I'm going to um, address again <laughs> soon. <laughs> They're squeakers. <laughs> I'm watching him for a neighbor who is moving. Um, he and his buddy Zorro. So, okay, so this is what I consider my main spot of clutter. Um, even so, I've got stuff stacked relatively neatly. <laughs> relatively neatly. But yeah, I'm wanting to address this 
in the near future and do a video series um, just tackling one area at a time. Even all my artwork, I put in one box. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's sorted and I, I don't like it out in the open, but enough of the clutter bug stuff. Um, anyway, so this is, uh, this is part of my clutter under the stairs to the loft. Uh, this also is, and I have looked through these before looking for something and this box up here, all it has in it is that body pillow and the back to life machine. And I don't even remember what's in the bottom, but I think it's stuff that I don't even want. Um, a lot of this stuff is stuff I don't want. This is just an empty box with, um, with uh, other boxes that have been broken down. Um, and the empty box is just holding those because I emptied the storm shelter. <clears throat> those those sheets of um those sheets of cardboard uh were in here separating layers of wire crates for the cats um i had 12 crates in here four levels of 3 each um, so that all of my animals would fit here in case of a, a tornado or tornado warning or watch. Um, and I emptied the whole thing because I discovered that, um, that it has been urine marked. So apparently when we were in here during a storm, at least one of them, um, a couple of the cats were, were, were spraying. Um, so I want to redo this in here, like kind of, I don't know, sandblast it something and repaint it, uh, before I move everything back in. But anyway, so that's why I still have those, uh, cardboard sheets. All right. This is, um, this is also an area of clutter. This is this is where I feel the most overwhelmed, even more than under the stairs. This um, is was my studio, um, studio slash office, and I guess you can see there there are lots of paper piles and supplies everywhere, and and there's Joni, <laughs> um, and just yeah boxes of supplies stacked on top of each other. So, um, this is, yeah, I mean, just thinking about this, I, I'm already overwhelmed. Um, and I think I just, I think it's partly my perfectionism. <laughs> I know, I know this does not look like perfection. Um, hi honey, we're going to have dinner soon. Um, and then this is in the closet. Um, but, uh, yeah, I know this doesn't look like perfection, but, um, when apparently when a perfectionist gets overwhelmed, um, uh, they do nothing. <laughs> um, and it's because I want everything because I'm a cricket apparently. And I like, um, I like a lot of different categories for my stuff. Um, it's like all of my paper stuff. I want um, each of the animals' vet records in their own file as though we were at the vet. Um, that's just an example. And I do keep seven years of my tax returns in here. It could be in storage somewhere, I guess, but I don't have a storage unit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's something that I'm going to address. It's something I'm going to be figuring out. Whoa! <laughs> Dropping the phone. But, um, I, you know, listening to Dana and Cass and, um, and um, oh my goodness, and Dawn, I, just, I feel like I can do it because their way of talking about clutter and organizing, it's really, it's really making sense to me. Um, so anyway, more clutter. This is also, this is also because I emptied that out. Um, cause all of this was in there. 
Um, what else? Oh, same here. This is left over from when I had 10 fosters. Um, and, um, and I just ended up putting all my supplies in here when they were gone. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I guess that's it. I don't know. Um, this place used, this room used to be totally cluttered. So I have made progress there. And of course the bedroom doesn't look nice either because, um, well, because I'm making this, I'm switching this and the, uh, the office studio. So this is going to be my studio and office. Um, more along the lines, and I've shown you this already, but I, I don't know. Yeah, this is also detailed for me, organized anyway. I've got all my pants, mostly jeans, organized by uh, light to dark. <laughs> Not even color, but light to dark. And I, I even took, I even took a black and white photo just to make sure, <laughs> just to make sure that even the colors that I had in the correct, um, what do they call it? Saturation? I don't know. So that even in black and white, you could see that it was light to dark. Anyway, so yeah, I did that. Um, so I've got all of my pants organized by color and this is how I get dressed. So I keep this regular hanger as a marker. So these are the pair of pants I'm gonna wear tomorrow. And when I take them off the hanger and get dressed, I'm gonna move this hanger over here. And then the next day, I'm gonna wear these pants. And then I'm going to put this back. Okay, so tomorrow, when I pull these pants out, then I'm going to come to my shirts. And these are not arranged in any particular order. That is the one random, relatively random thing. But I'm wearing black pants tomorrow. So I like to be relatively monochrome, so I'm probably going to choose this tomorrow. I guess I might choose this shirt, but I don't know. And um, and then from there, I will choose my sweater because I still need a sweater right now. Um, this is the only one I have hanging right now. I'm wearing my gray one and my... Um, Oh, white sort of colored sweater is in the laundry. So anyway, um, so yeah, I guess further evidence that I am a cricket. All right, and, and I think I showed you already my clutter. This is crafting clutter um, for fundraising for the organization. And then these are donations we have received um and actually some of my some of my supplies from the office for heaven on earth handcrafts and and i'm starting to put supplies in here for fundraising for let's stay together pets also so i mean it, this is all just kind of a mishmash um okay so that's all I've got today. Um, so I'm gonna, uh, oh, one last thing. Now I splurged, this, this was expensive, totally worth it to me so far. Um, I, I expect it to continue to be totally worth it to me. This is called a Dream Box by Create Room. Oh, I guess I should show you. <laughs> all right, let's start. And you can see a much better video example of this piece of organizing storage furniture on their website. And I'll put a link in the description below. But anyway, so I bought this to organize all of my supplies. Okay, so it opens, man, I want a pantry like this. This is just amazing. All of the spaces that open up 
And for, for little things, that's what's so amazing, I think, is that you can fit little things very tidily in a relatively large area and it's on wheels. And that's a table that folds out. Buttons is gonna show you too. <laughs> So anyway, I am gonna change some of this stuff. I'm not finished anyway. Um, but yeah, I like things very organized. I like them tidy. And you know, it, after I heard her say it, it, it it's a total duh moment, but I just, I never thought about it. Um, okay, Buttons is out of the way. Oh, what was I gonna say? Um, I guess it was during Cass's podcast that I was listening to earlier today. Um, somebody, it, it was a live and somebody wrote in, it was a and a live. Somebody wrote in and I don't know, said that, um, she was complaining about her kids and her husband leaving stuff everywhere and that she just couldn't keep up. It was just, and she went into more detail, but, um, and, and Cass told her, it's like, you've got too much stuff. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. You just got too much stuff. And I thought, oh, I've got too much stuff. <laughs> and again, it was a total duh moment because yeah, all the stuff under the stairs, I probably, I don't know, maybe one small box of it I actually want to keep. And the rest is um, tools that were my dad's that um, my ex-husband wanted to keep at the time. You know, it was a, it was a, an emotional period. And there are other things, you know, um, also of his that I wanted to keep, at least at the moment. And so anyway, yeah, I, I have stuff that I probably don't even want a lot of stuff that I probably don't even want or I'm not using. This just isn't the right season for me. And I have given away quite a few things that, um, you coming out to me? Um, it, it was, it was that mentality. It was that thought in my head that caused me to do it. I, I told myself, you know, like my spinning wheel, um, the only spinning wheel I ever had. So I had some sentimentality toward it. Um, and I love spinning, absolutely love spinning. But the reality is I haven't done it in so, so long, you know, and I could argue with myself, well, I need to do it then. I need to do it because I enjoy it. I need that to rejuvenate, you know, as an option for rejuvenating instead of, you know, just soaking in the tub or something. Um, but I was like, you know what, I'm not using it. When I do choose to start doing this in the future, I'll just get another one. I'm just gonna get another one and I might want something different anyway. There were a few things that, um, that I gave away um, based on that idea. All right, so anyway, I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm gonna close this up now um, and get this uploaded to YouTube. So that's it. Um, I am going to follow up with my own decluttering journey videos in the future. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to start doing that. But um, anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.